Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here at 430. Unfortunately, this week begins like last week ended with the search continuing for three year old Elijah Vu who went missing from Two Rivers last Tuesday. That Amber Alert is now seven days old. Elijah was reported missing three hours after he was last seen in Two Rivers. Two Rivers Police have not given any update today, but continue to search. First responders and civilian groups have spent the last six days now searching for him in and around Manitowoc County and surrounding areas. Today, Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer, and her boyfriend, Jesse Fang, were both charged with party to a crime neglecting a child under the age of six. Those are felony charges. Bauer was also charged with two misdemeanors of resisting or obstructing an officer. Let's join our Brittany Schmidt now live outside the courthouse in Manitowoc. She was there for the proceedings today. So, Brittany, formal charges means a criminal complaint. And last week at the court hearing, we had heard that the mother had dropped Elijah off for disciplinary reasons for about a week. What more did we learn from the criminal complaint about that today? Right, so the criminal complaint talked about how Vang and Bauer collectively decided what type of discipline Elijah would receive while with Vang for, quote, bad behavior. Now, what type of bad behavior the three-year-old was doing, we don't know that. They didn't get into specifics of the criminal complaint, but we do know what um, he endured while with Vang. So part of his punishment was to stand for one to three hours. Um, while he was standing, he was said to either pray or say, uh, repeat some words saying, I'm sorry, mommy. Um, we do know that if he failed to do what Vang asked him to do, he would threaten him with cold water. We do know there was one occasion where um, between phone records, Vang talked to Bauer about being really angry because Elijah filled up his diaper um, and to clean him, he put him in, in cold water. When authorities kind of talked to Vang, um, one of the quotes that he gave him was, it's not like his knees are shaking and about to fall over. Um, Vang kind of described Elijah being there kind of like a boot camp. Um, and he wanted to make sure that the three-year-old understood that going back home with his mom to Wisconsin Dells should be a privilege for him. So those are the type of punishments that we learned about today in the criminal complaint. All right, Brittany, so that, expl well, that some explanation there about what those punishments might be, et cetera. What about how he went missing? What is Jesse Vang's uh, account of that? Sure, we know that Jesse Vang is the one that called 911 and reported him missing. Um, he told authorities that that morning he got up to help his uh, other son, his 15 year old son, get up, get on the bus, go to school. And when he came back inside, he said that Elijah was sleeping on the futon. He woke Elijah up and brought him into the room with him, shut the door, went back to bed. And when he woke up, Elijah was not there anymore. Who was in the court today for this? Obviously, this is garnering a lot of interest. So who was who was there? Who did you see today? Right, so I saw volunteers, um, people that have been out searching for Elijah, taking days off of work to try to find him in this area. Um, but we also talked to a friend of Katrina Bauer, a family friend who wanted to remain anonymous to us. Um, but I asked her some questions. She said that she's been in contact with Katrina. Um, she knows that she says Katrina is a doubting mother, um, loves her children. And I asked her specifically if she thinks she knows where Elijah is, and she told me that she doesn't. And if, if she did, she would have told authorities. So they, they tell me that the mom's main focus is finding Elijah. Um, they do not believe she had anything to do with his disappearance. Um, but when we talk to volunteers, they believe that those answers are in with those who are now in the Manitowoc County Jail. All right, Brittany, one last thing real quickly here in this narrative that you and I have had, we've not talked about Elijah's biological father and he has not been talked about a whole lot in this past week. There's been some rumors. Anything verified on his whereabouts? Yeah, the family friend today was able to tell me that he is currently in prison. All right, thanks very much, Brittany, for clarifying that. We will see you again on Action 2 News at 5. Let's turn now to